So, OnLive allows players to play their favourite games without ever downloading them, using either a cheap micro console or even the lowliest of PCs or Macs. Gamers can access the most technologically demanding games which are running on OnLive servers. In the UK, where the service recently launched, gamers can get access to about 100 games for £6.99 a month. Top new games like Deus Ex Human Revolution cost about the same as buying them in a shop or online. Thankfully, there's an introductory offer where you get your first game for a pound. The big cheese behind OnLive is Steve Perlman. We had some questions for him. First off, what have you learned from the 16 months you've been running the service in the US? People love cloud gaming. You know, just like people have uh, been drawn very, very rapidly to streaming audio and to streaming video. The exact same thing is happening with streaming video games. Okay, thanks for that. Now, obviously, OnLive does away with the need for a 360 or a PS3. So, is this the end for consoles? Perlman thinks not. In fact, he argues OnLive is a complementary service, right? We already are working with them indirectly in the following way. You know, today, if you want to have a demo before you make a decision to purchase a game for Xbox, PlayStation, and so on. You know, you might do a big download. It might be several gigabytes, you wait a few hours, or it comes in and there you play it. If you have limited disk space, you could easily have that demo push out some of your rock band, uh, you know, uh, songs or something like that. So for a lot of folks, they don't even bother demoing, like, I don't want to do it. So you know what, a lot of people now in the States, they just go to OnLive, check out the demo, decide whether or not they want the game, and then fine, then they go and buy the Xbox game, or the PlayStation game, what have you. That just leaves the $64 trillion question. So how much bandwidth do you need to use the online gaming service? So the bandwidth you need really has to do with the screen size. If you're using a, um, you know, a 13 inch monitor, you know, like on a laptop or a small uh, uh, you know, tablet, you can do fine with say two megabits, even go down to one megabit. If you're on a small TV, three megabits a second is, is okay. If you got a really giant TV in your living room, Probably five to six megabits would be what you want. Um, it works fine over DSL, cable modems, but you'll probably get the best experience if you get fiber. Um, it's just a little bit snappier, and again, you tend to get the higher bandwidths. 